Hello and welcome to our Magura video workshop. In this video, we will demonstrate the filling and bleeding process for our Magura MT disc brakes. To ensure proper filling volume, push back the pistons completely using the transport device or a screwdriver to push the brake pads apart. Now loosen and remove the pad fitting screw and take out the pads from the caliper. To fix the pistons in place, fit the wide end of the transport device into the caliper and fix it with an elastic band to prevent it from falling out. In the next step, loosen and remove the bleed screw using a 3mm Allen key in case of the MT8 and attach a filled syringe to the bleed port, tightening it carefully using an 8mm open-ended wrench. To fill and bleed Magura brakes, use only mineral oil, Magura Royal Blood, no DOT fluid. Loosen the lower clamp bolt on the master cylinder and position the lever at an angle of about 15 degrees. Now loosen and remove the EBT screw and insert either a syringe without piston or the tube of the Pro Bleed Kit hanging the bottle from the handlebar into the EBT port. Before beginning the bleeding process, check the correct position of the caliper. It should be oriented as shown. Now push the oil up and draw it back down into the syringe about three to four times, letting the lever snap several times while pushing. When no more bubbles rise with the oil, remove the upper syringe or the probe lead kit and push gently on the lower syringe until the EBT port is completely filled with oil. Now set in the EBT screw, checking that the o-ring is undamaged and clean and tighten it carefully until either the maximum torque is achieved or the EBT screw sits flush with the master housing. After having closed the upper side of the system, take off the lower syringe and quickly close the bleed port on the caliper again. This too should be done with the correct torque. Now take out the transport device and clean the caliper thoroughly using either brake cleaner or hot soapy water to remove all residues of oil and prevent contamination of the pads. Reinsert the brake pads, checking that both are in the correct position, pad material pointing towards the rotor, and set the pad fitting screw through both pad eyelets to secure them in position. Finally tighten the pad fitting screw using a Torx T25 key to the correct torque. Remount the wheel in the correct position to avoid grinding noises from the brake and turn the lever back to its riding position, fixing it in place using the correct torque. Finally, check for correct filling and proper function by pulling the brake a few times.